for justice. Yeah. Take care. No. Huh. 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 Oh. Take that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Over already? Hi, Mom. Hello, boys. Your father wishes to speak with you. He's just gonna yell at us again. He doesn't know when to quit. Asbel, you mustn't speak so of your father. He thinks only of you and your brother's best interests. Ugh, not this again. Your father is waiting in his study. Hurry along and see what he needs. All right, all right. Hey, Sharia, can you keep an eye on her until we get back? Huh? Oh, sure. You must forgive my son, Sharia. He puts you through so much trouble. Oh, no, it's no trouble. Regardless, you should rest. You must be exhausted after all that Asbel put you through. I, I didn't put her through anything. You are the heir to the Launt Lordship, Asbel. You must learn to think more carefully about those around you. From now on, you are forbidden to take Sharia with you when you play. Do you understand? No! Lady Carrie, please! I'm fine! Sharia! This is ridiculous! Dad's bad enough, but now you? I'll play with whoever I want, so you can just butt out! Asbel! <laughs> Sharia. Oh dear. You should take her home, Frederick. Come along, Sharia. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Sharia. We should go see what Dad wants. Hey, you wanna come? Yes. <laughs> You certainly took your time, Asbel. Hmm. Who's the girl? We met her outside town. She seems to have amnesia. She doesn't remember who she is or where she's from. Oh? Well, we can worry about such things later. I need to speak with you. What is it now? I received a letter from a very important man in the capital. His son is coming to visit Lont.
A visitor from the capital, huh? That's rare, isn't it, Dad? This boy is around the same age as you, but you are not to approach or speak with him. He hails from one of the most powerful families in the Windor Kingdom. We cannot be seen to show him even the slightest disrespect. If something were to happen, it would be a blight on the launch name. Do you understand, Asbel? Why are you just asking me? Do you understand? Yes. Good. As for the girl, I shall hand her over to the authorities. I'm confident they will be able to find her family. This is the best thing we can do for her now. What? Huh? This plan should put your mind at ease, yes? I want to be with Asbel. You do? What is this about, Asbel? You don't want to go? I don't know. But... I want to stay with Asbel. Are you in some sort of trouble? Of course she isn't. Um, right? Well, she cannot stay here. I will contact the authorities and make arrangements for her transfer. Don't worry about it. I can take care of her. What? I can take care of her. This is foolishness. I'm serious. Do you even understand what you're saying? You are a powerless child who couldn't possibly be entrusted with such responsibility. Well, how will you know if you don't let me try? My lord, a messenger has arrived concerning our guest from the capital. Right, send him in. Asbel, we shall continue this conversation later. Until then, stay out of trouble. Damn it. Come on, Asbel. I'm going to help her, and I don't care what anyone says. Let's go. Okay. Seems like all Dad knows how to do is treat me like a child. I can't stand it. Why am I the only one he ever yells at? W well, you're the oldest, and that means you'll be the Lord of Lot one day. I'd rather become a knight in service of the king. The capital has a special training school for knights. Did you know that? I've heard of it. But Asbel, can you... Can you really take care of this girl? Yeah, I don't have a choice. 
I have to show Dad that I'm not just some useless child. Well, yes, but... Hey, Sharia! You feeling better? Oh, yes. I'm fine. So, did your dad decide what to do with the mystery girl? Yeah. I'm gonna take care of her. What? Don't shout like that. You'll make yourself sick again. It's your fault. What do you mean you're going to take care of her? I just mean I'll be responsible for her until we find out who she is. What if we never find out? Well, then... I'll be with her for the rest of my life! The rest of your... No, you can't do that! Are you kidding? You just can't! Too late. I've already decided. Let it go, Sharia. He'll never change his mind now. Unbelievable! Hey, you're with us now, okay? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. But if you're gonna be our friend, we need to give you a name. Hmm. How about... <gasps> Tiger Festival! You idiot! What kind of a girl would want a stupid name like that? Unbelievable! My brother's not very good with names. Fine then. What do you want to call her? Um, well, I don't know. We found her in a meadow, right? So maybe we should name her after a flower. Sharia, what was the name of that flower I gave you? Hmm? It's called a Sopharia. Sopharia. Aha! I got it! We're gonna name her Sophie. Sophie. Oh, it's kinda pretty. I agree. It's a good name. All right. From now on, your name is Sophie. Is that okay? Sophie... Well, do you like it or what? My name is... Sophie. Nice to meet you, Sophie. Hurry! This way! Sophie, come on! Where are they going? Forgive me, young masters, but did Lord Aston perchance come this way? He just ran by a second ago. It seems like he was headed out of town. What the heck happened? The turtle's transport containing our young guest is long overdue. Lord Aston fears they may have met with tragedy on the road. That guest must be the boy Dad was talking about. We should go take a look for ourselves. 
Don't be silly. What can we do? We'll just get in the way. <laughs> we won't know for sure unless we try. The kid's coming from the capital, so we should head in that direction. All right, everyone, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> This is the road that a visitor from the capital would use, right? Huh? This road that we're on now is called East Lont High Road. It connects Lont with the capital city of Verona, and is primarily used to transport Creus gathered from the Lont region and... Joint. Ow! Don't pinch my cheeks! It hurts! I think she's hurt enough, little brother. But you know, Sophie, Sherry's cheeks are great for pinching, too. No, Sophie, stop! What are you doing here? It's dangerous. Stay back. Relax. We can handle this. All right, just gotta draw one of them this way. Ah! It's coming for us! Asbel, Hubert! Syria, take care of the transport! R right. This way, everyone, hurry! Bring it on! Hostiles! Yeah! Uh. 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 One, two! Yeah. Uh. Uh. One, two! Uh. Eagle uh. eye! Uh. Uh. Get back! Uh. 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 Take that! Yeah. Uh. Uh. Ow! Yeah. Uh. Uh. Take that! Uh. Get back! Uh. 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 times must I tell you to stay put? You could have been hurt, or worse. Stop. S sophie Sophie? So she remembers something after all? Actually, Hasbell named her Sophie. I see. I suppose you intend to play her guardian now. That's not what I... Lord Austin. Is anyone hurt? We are well, thank you. Please accept my most humble apologies. I shall accept... Whatever punishment you deem fit for providing such inadequate protection. In light of your son's bravery, I think this incident can be forgiven. I am unworthy of such kindness, noble sir. Are you all right? I'm fine. Heh. <laughs> 
Now he's putting on his groveling act. Our visitor, Master Richard, will be staying. I shall say this but once. Do not approach him for any reason. I will not accept any more troublemaking from you. Am I clear? Yeah, yeah. Lord Aston, we should be off. Yes, of course. Please permit me to escort you the rest of the way. Asbel, are you okay? Oh, that was nothing. That Richard person was inside the turtle's transport. I wish we could have met him. Well, he'll be in the guest chambers. Asbel, no! You can't possibly! Oh, yes I can. It's time to meet this Master Richard for ourselves. But you can't! If Dad finds out, he'll have our heads. Look, it'll be fine. We're just gonna take a peek. Now, let's get home and meet our new guest. I fight for justice! You're amazing, Sophie. Where'd you learn that? Where? I wonder. But if we go through here, someone will see us. So... All right, we'll enter through the window. manner and you must be Richard from the capital come on let's get out of here and have fun you've never been to Lont, right we can show you around leave me alone I would prefer to stay here you'd rather stay here in this dark room all alone are you crazy don't you want to have fun I told you to leave me alone and don't pretend to be my friend, either. What did you say? You're only pretending to like me, so you can use me later. 
It's always the same. People are only nice to me when they want something for themselves. Or when they... Master Richard. Bryce. It is time for your daily sword training. Please, ready your equipment. Not today. I'm not feeling well. Enemies will attack whether you feel well or not. Avoiding training will only end up weakening your skills. Are you Lord Aston's son? These matters are no business of yours. Leave at once. You shouldn't make him practice if he isn't feeling well. Don't be a fool. My lessons are of the utmost importance. And not to be skipped for any reason. Then I'll take the lesson in his place. <gasps> you? All right, very well then. Though I fear you will end up regretting those words before long. If you truly wish to face me, I will be waiting for you in the garden out front. See you there. I see you've come. Shall we begin? Where is your sword? I have no need to arm myself against a mere child. I can't fight an unarmed man. It would be shameful for a knight to do so. It seems our little swordsman is afraid of losing. In that case, I must insist that Richard take this lesson after all. Very well. Prepare yourself. Asbel! Oh, did the little knight fall down? <laughs> Too slow. Are you even- Damn it! What? So, the little knight has some skill after all. But this ends now. Stop this at once. Phew. Real knights are strong. Amazing. He actually held his ground against Bryce. Thank you for the lesson. Also, please forgive my earlier insolence. I hope you will let me spar with you again. Asbel actually sounds grown up. That fight must have scrambled his brains. Hey, knock it off! True knights are polite and honorable. If a fellow knight agrees to train you, they deserve your thanks. Even I know that. So you want to become a knight? Yes, sir. More than anything. You have some talent with a sword. Once you get old... R really You should be ashamed, Bryce. There is no honor in provoking a child. I apologize, sir. I will take over Master Richard's training from this point forward. You may join the other guards inside. I understand, sir. With your leave, Master Richard. That was amazing, Asbel. He said you have talent. Imagine, my big brother joining the Knights. Come on, Hubert, knock it off. I'm just glad that Richard won't be forced to practice when he's not feeling good. Amazing. Well, since the lesson is over and we're already outside, how about I show you something cool? What are you talking about? I'm gonna take him to see the flowers. 
But it's almost sundown. Well, then you guys should stay here. Just play dumb if Dad asks about us, okay? He'll never learn. Sophie, you go with them and make sure they don't get into any trouble, okay? All right, guys, follow me. Did you hear that, Richard? He said I'm talented with a sword. Indeed. You bested Bryce, after all. Is he really that big of a deal? He is the scion of a noble family that has produced many renowned knights. In addition, he serves as my private sword instructor. Oh. I, uh, that sounds pretty impressive. Indeed. <sighs> what is it with you and the size lately? <laughs> 